I came to trust my intuition, of course, with a little bit of trial and error framing the process. And I think it's one of the strongest and richest creative force, except it's very sad to see around us, mostly in our system of education, that we shrivel that force. We, we say to a kid, don't think of you, uh, by yourself. Read the book, listen to your teacher, do what uh, the adult says. And um, well, yes, there is some truth there, but I think uh, the best way to uh, open the door to intuition uh, for a child is to put them in front of a creative problem, you know, I don't know, a little origami or building something. Uh, and then first let them do what they feel, let them relay on their intuition. And then if they go in a completely wrong direction, they themselves will stop and turn to an adult for help, you know. So uh, it's a very delicate uh, thing to teach, uh, to bring intuition to a child or to anybody for that matter, but mostly child, they're so sensitive about being forced to do and to think a certain way. So my, my proposal is to uh, not open the door and, you know, and propulse the kids forward, but to open the door a tiny bit and have the kid curiosity keep moving that door that was ajar and now it's full and then they're going to discover, they're going to explore with their own way of thinking, their own intuition and improvisation and then yes, the adult is there to make sure there's no accident, you know.